Now we've learned how to store scenes and manage a scene list. Let's take a look at some special features that will help us speed up programming, editing, and updating a full show's set of scene memories. Preview, Overlay, and Global Paste. We shall begin with Preview Mode, which was first seen on Yamaha's PM1D digital mixing system almost 20 years ago, and is also available on the CL series mixers. Preview Mode allows you to take a look at the parameter values stored in the scene and edit and update them, all without disturbing the current audio mix. So you can update some later scenes during a rehearsal or even during a show without causing the performance to pause. Press the preview key and you will immediately see red warnings. The console controls are now offline and are not affecting the live audio. So don't use this mode while you need to be making any vital live adjustments. Anyway, in preview mode, you can recall any scene memory and check the settings. If you remember something that needs adjusting, now is the time to do it. All parameters can be accessed and edited, including channel patching, names, and even plug-in selection. Then update the scene and come out of preview mode. And you've regained live control. It's a quick and simple way to avoid any mistakes you fear may be coming up later in an automated show. Or you could make quick preparations for an unexpected guest appearance. Overlay is another useful feature for editing and enhancing an automated show, particularly when temporary adjustment is required. Imagine when a performer has a sore throat and is quieter than normal you may wish to boost their fader and a few mix sends throughout the show. To avoid updating all the scene memories, use Overlay. Here's how. First, go to the Overlay page. Simply press the key on the surface for quick access. Enable Overlay with the button on the screen or hold Shift while pressing Overlay. Then select the required channel and add an offset to the fader or to a few mix sends. This relative offset will be applied to all scene memories that are recalled while the overlay function is enabled. You can boost up to 10 dB and you can reduce as much as 20 dB. Because Overlay deals with relative level changes, the dynamic contours programmed into the show will still be preserved. It allows you to cope with temporary changes at short notice. Perhaps some musicians play at different levels depending on their mood. Or maybe you have a deputy drummer who plays louder than the main one. So you need temporary level adjustments without reprogramming the whole show. If you have a regular need, like the Saturday evening show needs to be louder because the audience is always larger or noisier, then you can create an overlay for Saturday and store it in the library. Then disable it for the next day. Actually, if you have lots of channels to edit in overlay, there's a neat shortcut. Press and hold the overlay key to enter edit mode. Now the channel name displays will show the amount of offset applied and you can move the faders and mix ends to adjust the amount. You could do this during a pre-show rehearsal, even during the first song in the show. When the levels are settled, end edit mode by press and hold again. If the temporary change ends up needing to become permanent, when you store a scene, you can choose to have the overlay offset apply to the parameters. But then you should remember to disable overlay afterwards. 
or else you'll have the offset applied twice. Now let's look at a function that allows you to permanently update many parameters in many scenes at the same time. It's called Global Paste. Use it while preparing or updating a show, during a period of rehearsals or sound check. It allows you to copy the current settings of a range of parameters to multiple scenes in one operation. For example, if all the singer's mics have been changed to a different model, then the input gain and EQ of those channels may need updating in all scenes. Or if you are on tour and an extra portion of PA system is added for a larger audience, you may need to add output channel settings to many scenes. Or if you're in a fixed venue and a guest band has loaded in their previously prepared scene memories, you'll need to update them with the appropriate patch settings for the in-house I.O. racks. So let's see how it works. But of course, first have in mind what you want to do, because there is potential to change a huge amount of parameters all at once here. So let's take the scenario of a new set of drum mics. Open the global paste window from the scene list page. Or you may want to bookmark it from a user defined key if you use it often. Now you see a grid showing all input and output channels uh, vertically and all parameters horizontally. Here you select which parameters you want to copy. If you're new to this page, I recommend you press all off first, so you don't end up pasting some forgotten parameters. Remember the current state of the parameters is what's going to be copied. So make sure the current scene is already set up just the way you want it. I'm going to select HJ Silk and EQ for all input channels. The shortcuts are available to select all channels or all parameters for specific channels. Next, enable paste for the required channels in the column on the left side of the grid. You could use set by select for fast selection on the console surface. Finally, you select which scenes you wish to update. You could select a range of scenes or multiple scenes in different parts of a show. Press OK and then touch paste to complete the operation. Notice you could paste with Overlay Applied if you have the function enabled. If you think the same settings may be updated again in the future, consider storing the selection into the library. Or use one of the eight bank buttons at the bottom of the screen. There are useful shortcuts or macro keys for selecting the parameter range for global paste. I've set one for mix sends, another one for output patch as an example. Though there are many other possibilities. To summarize, global paste is able to ensure the same parameter values are used for many scenes. However, in some situations, you may not want a selection of parameters to be recalled at all. If so, Join me next time when I will talk about focus, recall safe, and isolate. Learn when it's best to use each one. Bye for now. <laughs> <laughs>